Today I'm going to do a devlog, like a game devlog where I tell you about the code and the things that I'm writing, not just the stuff I learn while doing that, because yeah, I'm actually doing work. Let's talk about what I'm working on. Hey friendos, it's DW. So today is a devlog episode, like an actual devlog where I'm going to tell you about just the things I'm progressing on in terms of game development and game design. I've um, been working heavily on Car Scientists for the last month, the game I submitted to the Game Jam, really doing a lot more thinking and un understanding about what I wanted to do with it. And that's actually spawned off into a second project that I'm not going to talk about today because it's just still really early, early stages. Um, but that being said, there has been work on Car Scientists, so I want to share that with you. And that's what we're going to talk about. So... Get yourself ready to see some cool stunt thing stuff. Yeah. So this is the Leaps and Bounds GitHub repository. For those that don't know, the GitHub Game Jam uh, requires that you make your game open source, which I really like the idea of that. And so I put it out open source and I'm keeping it that way. And what I've been doing over the last month is kind of going through the ideas of what I learned from the Game Jam and what I wish I would have done. And so I did a couple of things here, just a couple of small things. First, I created a few versions uh, or milestones in GitHub. You can see here I have the, fe the feedback patch, which is done. So I'm actually going to close that. This is just the version that, that fixes some bugs and kind of tweaks a couple of small things that were, uh, I would call them minor issues to the game. I also upgraded to Gudo 3.2 just for uh, just for the fact that it was out when I was kind of working on this. So I decided to upgrade it. That's all I really did in this, nothing too crazy. And then I'm gonna release this out into itch.io uh, shortly here today. So we'll close that one down. Uh, the next two that I'm gonna be working on are the web export, which I'd like to do sooner rather than later. That's the last thing I'm going to do for sure in Car Scientist. And then there's the version 2.0 release, which is kind of my back catalog of wishes and things that I really want to do to Car Scientist, you know, whether or not I have the interest or, or time permitting and stuff like that but I kind of made that my absolute backlog and you can check out all this stuff at uh, my repository which the link will be in the description but yeah I think this was a good way to kind of get things going and the web export is going to be a better way for people to access the game I really wish I would have done this as part of the game gem I mentioned that in my 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 retrospective last month or a month ago but yeah, I, I, this is the one thing I really want to kind of get working and then it let me dabble a little bit with continuous deployment. But yeah, this is this is kind of the big plan right now for, for the devlog. The second thing I managed to accomplish this month is the web export. So not only did I manage to get a web version out with version 1.2, 1, 1 but I also managed to kind of script the deployment process to itch.io. So you can see here on screen, I'm just kind of accelerated my, my process here, or the capture that I got of me kind of fumbling through the publishing tool, which is using Butler from uh, itch.io, which is the command line tool to help you do automated publishing and stuff like that. And it's a really useful tool. Uh, it's just, I'm learning how to use it as I go, but so far so good. I now have managed to script deploy the Windows development or the Windows build along with the HTML5 or web-based version that you can now play in the browser. So that's pretty cool and I'm gonna call it a win, so good for me. And so that about wraps it up for this game devlog for January. So in retrospective, like I didn't get a lot done, you know, productivity-wise in terms of code, right? I got the Windows and web versions out and fixed up so there's no game soft lock in the game. Uh, and the web version is going to make things a lot more accessible for people to play on platforms that are non-Windows, which I really wish I would have had during, during that game jam. But what I've learned in this whole process is that I really respect the different tract of game development and game design. So I really need to work on both of them. Um, you know, Car Scientist is going to be that game development sandbox where I might experiment a little bit with design, but I've realized how not complicated but how time consuming and uh how niche the skill set is to publish and deploy and build to these different platforms so i'm i'm working with godot so that's the the, the engine and it produces it, it supports a number of platforms but i have to get those compiled binaries or or in this or html versions or whatever out to the appropriate storefronts for people to consume 
right? This isn't about putting it onto a disc and then shipping it out. This is about just digital distribution. And that alone has its own set of complexities. Design, producing the product itself with game design, you know, I'm gonna be working on that as well. And like I said, um, there is a second project that I'm kind of prototyping and experimenting with uh, that's based on some of the stuff from Car Scientist. But that is its own wheelhouse and that's gonna, I'll, I'll talk about that at a later date. But the game development piece, I think I need to keep sharpening that sword as well. So I can't just kind of let one die off. I originally kind of thought I could get away with only doing design work and kind of dabbling in dev, but I think I need to keep them both sharp. There's no way around it. So um, yeah, that's the big thing for January. So, you know, web version out now, check it out in the description. Um, web version, uh, Windows version is fixed as well. And that's that. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time. If you could do me a favor and have yourself a pleasant day and or evening, it would be greatly appreciated. Take care.